Kensington Palace, the last home of Princess Diana, has been a London landmark for four centuries. Tomorrow, it becomes more accessible to the general public, opening a magical exhibit called The Enchanted Palace. Early show special correspondent Amanda Holden is there with a preview. Amanda, good morning. Hello, Harry. Yes, I'm climbing the stairs of Kensington Palace, being looked down upon by a painting over 300 years of the servants of yesteryear. Here is a dress created by Vivian Westwood for the rebellious Princess Charlotte. Over 17 of the rooms here have been transformed into an historic fantasy world. Welcome to the Enchanted Palace. Our abiding memory of Kensington Palace is of a lawn covered with flowers as people mourned the death of Princess Diana. Now musicians are blowing off the cobwebs and shaking out the secrets of this 400-year-old palace. In this room sleeps a princess. And reinventing it. Costume designers were asked to create a new dress for each princess who lived here. And here inside the cupola room, dresses they say are the colour of time, inspired by brass clockworks. <gasps> oh, oh, ooh. A cabinet of curiosities. Oh, look! I think we still have a Prince Charles and Lady Diana key ring in our house somewhere. Wow, it's like Narnia. This, this is, is incredible, this room. Here, the artists have chosen outfits owned by both Princess Margaret and Princess Diana, hers embellished with feathers. That's a wonderful image of her sort of being free and dancing and being happy. This is Queen Victoria's room. That's like the princess and the pea. It was a room in which she slept with her mother until she was over 18 years old. Oh, that's and my idea of a nightmare. <laughs> Plastic soldiers replaced lead soldiers in this royal playroom where would-be kings never lost a battle. We're allowed to play, aren't we? You are. Do you want to get? <laughs> yes, I do. One, two, three. Actually, that's not as much damage as I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you know, I am such a princess. My whole family will vouch for me on that. I feel so at home here, Harry. <laughs> There's enough space. I think I might move in. <laughs> now, I, did I, is there a rumour there that this place was haunted? Are there any ghosts there? Well, actually, I just spoke to one of the actors who are working here, and they said that in another room there is a painting of a Mrs. Elliot who was a servant, and she is apparently rumoured to sort of do a ghostly mm. dust, I suppose, a bit of a sprinkling up and down the corridors oh. at night. And Quite so, a handy ghost. A uh, helpful ghost, at least. Then, So at Kensington Palace, so this is now open to the public, you can go into these rooms, but do any members of the royal family still live there? Um, we have the, du the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester living in a wing somewhere over there, and Princess Michael of Kent is still living here with her husband as well. Um, and I'm actually standing in the room which we featured, the cupola room, but just here, if you can see it behind me, is actually where Queen Victoria was baptised when she was wow. little. How about that? Lots it's of history. It's amazing. It's All so right. historic. I'll leave you yeah. be. You, you look very comfortable there, Amanda. Thank you very, very much. Uh, darling, I feel so at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.